Shutter speed for video in 90 seconds. Go. So whatever frame rate you're shooting at, just double that number and put it under one, and that should be your shutter speed. So if you're shooting at 24 frames per second, 24 times two is 48, put that under one, that's one over 48. If you have a cinema camera that shoots one over 48 shutter speed, then perfect. What? With most DSLRs, the closest you're gonna get is one over 50, which is good enough. The reason we do this is to achieve the proper amount of cinematic motion blur. Now, when you have motion in your scene, motion blur is one of the key things that connects one frame to the next. The same theory applies if you're trying to shoot higher frame rates to achieve slow motion. If you're shooting at 120 frames per second, you should be shooting at a shutter speed of one over 240. Come on, man or for most cameras, one over 250. The biggest challenge with this is trying to achieve the proper exposure, because as filmmakers, a lot of times we're shooting with wide apertures to get shallow depth of field. I just want three grains of race in focus. Most of the time, even at the lowest ISO, we're overexposed. The way we solve this problem is with neutral density filters, or ND filters. These are specifically designed to block a certain amount of light from passing through the lens. Now I'll put some links below so you can check out the filters that we use for some of our lenses. I've still got some time left. I guess I'll just take my shirt off. 